So it might seem absurd to do this calculation of the standard deviation. I mean, it's such a complicated way to measure the spread of our data compared to the five number summary we saw earlier. But it turns out that the standard deviation is used all the time to get a single number to compare the spread of two data sets. It is kind of nice to be able to talk about how spread out our data are from one another without having to report an entire table of values. We can just compare the standard deviation for one group to the standard deviation of another group, and we have a way to tell which data set is more spread out. Having one number simplifies the amount of information that the person you're reporting to needs to consume. Having this single value also has other advantages with regard to what is known as inferential statistics, but that's beyond what we need to know now. For now, we just need to know that we have a way to take all of our values and get a single number that tells us how spread out they are from one another.